In this video, we're going to talk about the principle of balance and how it relates to photographs. Balance is a way of combining elements to add a feeling of equilibrium or stability to a work of art. In a photograph, it may be having uh, a different way of arranging um, in, uh, objects in the photograph, in the composition, um, to make it feel like it has the same thing on both sides or that it's completely unbalanced, or that things are arranged in a circular pattern. So to start off, formal balance, or symmetrical balance, is a designer photograph where you have the same thing happening on both sides of imaginary line, or it can also be achieved through the use of mirror image. In this simple example, you have the exact same circles on both sides of that center line. In the photograph, if I look at the center of that photograph, what's happening on the left is being reflected or mirror image on the right side. I can also take that a step further and the line that's going through the center of the photograph horizontally actually divides uh, that image horizontally from top to bottom as well. So this image is actually formally balanced in more than one direction. If we balance it in three or more directions, then we're talking about something that is probably radial balanced. Radial balance has objects that are arranged around that center point. They appear to be, all these circles appear to be around that center giant circle. It also is formally balanced in more than three directions. So I can divide it vertically, horizontally, and on both diagonals, and I have a mirror image no matter which of those four ways I split the design. For my intents and purposes, a radial design must meet both of these criteria to be considered truly radial. In the photograph, looking down over the top of an air conditioner unit, um, if you look at just the top part there uh, in the center, things are arranged around a center point, but also the blades um, of the opening there are arranged around that center point. Lastly, we have informal or asymmetrical balance. And this is when a photograph or design has different objects on either side of the center line, but there appears to be a balancing out between positive and negative space, or it can be two different objects that seem to have a, a similar visual weight. An easy way to look at this in photography is the photograph looks unbalanced. So in this simple example, I have circles on one side, squares on the other. Visually, the circles are not quite as big as the squares, but if you take into the uh, negative space in the corners, what would be the corners of the square on the left side, um, that does help to balance the circles out with the squares on the right side. Hopefully to make that a little clearer, if you look at this photograph, and I put that center line through, you have windmill on the left and no windmill on the right. So the windmill, the actual windmill itself on the left side of that composition is actually balanced out by the absence of that windmill on the other side of that line. And again, so when you look at this, it does seem unbalanced because you have a giant windmill on the left, small windmill on the right, but there is actually a balance between the positive and negative space.